Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to today's video, and that is about, guess what's coming your way? Songgren. Yep. Uh, you either love it or you hate it. You're either going to hibernate or you're going to go out there and embrace it. Some people, they even leave, they, they travel abroad to get away from it. And of course, this year, there's a bit of a confusion going on as to what to expect because there's a lot of rumors flying from the 1st to the 20th. Well, you can do Songgren and people are worried, oh, I'm going to get 20, 21 days of Songgram. So today's video, what I want to do is go through a few things. I want to showcase you what to expect. I want to explain a bit more about what Songkran is traditionally about. Uh, I'm going to give you some tips and some advice about how to deal with Songkran and a few little issues that maybe uh, will be presented to you. So Songkran, what is Songkran? Well, basically Songkran is a Thai New Year. It's a celebration. It's the biggest celebration that they have in the year. And it's one that's been you know, carried over for years, for years. It's a very, very traditional uh, festival. And of course, you know, if you go around the, the uh, areas of, uh, of Thailand, uh, away from the city like Pattaya, uh, you'll find it's, it's, it's celebrated far, far more calmly than what it is here. However, it is going to happen. And what's been going on there is the government has said here that from the 1st to the 21st that you can celebrate Songkran. Now, don't worry. Don't think, oh, God, 21 days again, soaking wet. It's not going to be that. What it means is that they can hold things like special events, music con uh, music festivals uh, they can hold their own little private events it doesn't necessarily mean that there will be water involved it just means that they can use the time span to celebrate songkran and songkran is about the tradition is really it's about washing away uh, the sins and the bad luck that you've had and embracing the year ahead and that's what it's supposed to be however in true tradition you know, when we come over here we've kind of grabbed hold of it and we've made it into this huge water fight, uh, which basically people either love or they hate. I've got to say, when I first came here, and I'll explain a couple of scenarios so you understand why. When I first came here, you know, Song Grand was brilliant. I loved it. It was something I'd never experienced before. I had no idea what to do or how to engage. It was just a case of walking around and people were just throwing water at me left, right, and center. It was just, wow, what's that all about? However, over the last 10 years, 11 years of doing Song Grand, to be honest with you, truthfully, I don't want to sound like a bar humbug, but I don't enjoy it. I don't mind one or two days, but I don't enjoy the whole week. We have a week here in Pattaya, whereas the rest around the country, they normally have just like one or maybe two days. When I go home to uh, to Korat, Korat is just one day. And we go to the village, it's one day, maybe two days max. Here, we just we just take it to the max. And so like for me, uh, if you're going to come here to Pattaya, the main days here are the 12th, round about the 12th over to the 20th. And the 19th being the biggest party, the 20th goes up to Bags Array around that area. But for here is the 12th to the 19th. The 19th is the one big, big day. What I would say is, you know, you've got to be prepared, guys. When you when you come here, you are, and I'm going to go through some tips in a minute, but when you, go, when you come here, you've got to be prepared for this. It's going to happen. Whether you like it or not, it's going to happen. So be prepared, guys. You know, if you are out and about thinking, hey, let's go shopping today, or let's go for a nice stroll down to the beach and have a wander around, I would seriously reconsider your thought plan because you are going to get uh, aimed at with water. And I'll talk about the types of water that we've got, the types of guns and pistols and stuff that they use in order to get you and the buckets, etc., etc. But just be prepared, guys. So when you come out here, what to wear? There's a few things. Firstly, your feet. You are going to be immersed, uh, submerged in water pretty much everywhere you walk. You are constantly going to be wet. So if that's the situation, I would suggest you wear flip-flops, Crocs, whatever you want to call them, um, you know, just to allow the water to flow away a bit more freely than if you're wearing trainers and socks. Trainers and socks, your feet are going to be sodden. By the time you get back to your hotel or your condo, wherever it is you're staying, uh, I'd imagine when you take your feet off, the, you know, the old wrinkled skin, the old uh, wrinkled to death, you're going to have that. And remember, you, if that's day one, you've got a lot more days to come your way. So I would suggest you wear flip-flops. Flip-flops are by far the most easiest method to walk around in. It still protects your feet in terms of treading on stuff, but also it allows the water just to flow away. Sounds stupid, sounds silly, sounds simple, but that's the fact of life. People, I see it every year, people walk around in their socks and trainers. I'm like, dude, you must be, your feet must be rinsed by the time you get back. Shorts. Uh, light, light fitting shorts. Try and wear like sports stuff uh, because at the end of the day, again, you know, I see people in jeans. You know, when you're wearing jeans and they get soaking wet, they're going to chafe, all the rest of it. You know, they have a set of red nuts by the time you get home. You know, just try and wear loose-fitting clothing to allow the water to try and freely flow away because otherwise you are going to be sodden, especially, you know, trainers and socks and uh, jeans. Good luck on that one. Uh, likewise with your shirts, you know, try and wear these, these flimsy shirts. It just allows the water to pass through. 
and it's not too bad. You know, one thing to be careful of is hat and glasses. If you've got expensive sunglasses, do not wear them. Do not wear them, guys. Go and buy a cheap pair of crap ones off the market for 100 baht, and it doesn't matter if they get broken because, unfortunately, you are going to get hit with bucketfuls of ice-cold water, big, powerful uh, uh, guns that are like tubes. So, you know, the last thing you want is you've got a proper pair of, like, Ray-Bans or some nice, nice designer glasses that have cost you a lot of money. Guys, please don't wear them. Likewise, with your watches... Again, you know, if you've got an expensive watch, just leave it at home. It might even be waterproof. It doesn't matter. The fact is the engagement, what's going on in the, the emotion of the event. You know, the last thing you want is while you're getting all excited, you, your watch somehow comes undone or you, it drops on the floor. You just don't realize it. Remember, girls and, and guys are going to come to you and cover you all in this in this chalk powder stuff. It's really going to be a, quite an event. So, again, try and protect them. Expensive sunglasses, expensive watches. Leave them at home. There's no time like tie time. You don't need to worry about the time. It's, it's irrelevant. So with the glass in that, please, go and buy yourself a cheap pair off the market. It's no dramas. If they get busted, see, it doesn't matter. If you do suffer with eye infections, and it, it is a very serious thing, this, you are going to get times where the war is definitely going to be in your eyes. So again, you know, if you are very concerned about that, get the old goggles. It does, Listen, when you walk around, it's irrelevant what you look like. People don't care. They just want to have fun. So if you're wearing goggles, or you're wearing those big glasses, the big plastic like um, welding glasses where you can't, when the stuff gets in, no one cares. No one's going to laugh at you. If anything, people are going to know that guy's got his head switched on. He knows what he's doing. So be prepared for that kind of stuff. Money and phones. Uh, you're going to need to pay for for your drinks and stuff. So you're going to need money and you probably need your phone. Uh, there are vendors that will walk around selling you these waterproof pouches. Are they any good? Harsip, harsip, 50-50. What I strongly recommend you do is, first of all, is get yourself some uh, plastic bags and get the zip tie plastic bags. You can go and buy them in any of the proper uh, shops here. Put your phone in one of them, fold it over, wrap it up, a couple of elastic bands around it, another phone, another bag, wrap it up. Then use those waterproof pouches to put your phone in because the last thing you want to do is trust these bags. And yes, they all look good, etc. But, you know, like I said before, they, you know, they're, they're selling them on the vendors like 50 baht, 100 baht. It's not rocket science to work out the quality of what you're getting. And if you've got an expensive phone, even if it's waterproof, and I know some of these phones, like my phone, I've got the Vivo X Pro 100, uh, that's waterproof, but it's waterproof as in like just for a momentary or the, you know, immersion in water or, or the rain. It's not what I think, and I might be wrong here, but I don't think it's waterproof in terms of, hey, let's just sit in water for the next eight hours. So again, you know, take take care of, the, of your phones. With the money... Try to divide your money up into sections, 100 bars, 50 bars, 20 bars. Keep them separate. The last thing you want to do is keep having to open your money up to pay for it and, and you get caught with the water and now suddenly all your money's soaking wet. It's the last thing you want. But it will happen, guys. It will happen. So please, you know, be protective of your money and especially your valuables like sunglasses, watches, and your phones. You know, guys watching the channel here, I'm sure, you know, many of you out there have had an experience. If you have, you know, share your comments down below, guys. It's all part of what we do is to share the experience amongst our community and help other people not sadly make the same mistake that perhaps you found yourself in. You're freezing cold water. You're covered in water so you're not hot. And it's great fun. You've got this powder on you, all the rest of it. And you don't wear any sunscreen. Guys, right now, we are extremely hot here. It's very, very hot. And I'm going to say it's that hot that even I'm struggling with the heat right now. And many people as I meet, they say, God, it's really hot at the moment. If you are out and about doing sun cram, please wear sunscreen. But more importantly, make sure you buy the waterproof or water-resistant sunscreen. Because if you don't, and you just whop a load on and you think, that's it, I'm jobs are good and I'm okay. And then you find you're out in the sun in the blistering heat. You're not going to notice the heat because you'll be cold. All those kind of factors are going to be thrown into it. Then you get back to your hotel, back to your room, and you find you're red as a beetroot and you're burnt to a crisp. I've had it. I've seen it. Um, you know, I've, I've seen guys walking around that are just burnt red and like, wow, you know, that must be that must hurt so much. So again, a little tip for you is waterproof, water-resistant sun cream. Use that, guys, because it will save you a lot of pain later on down the road. Right, so what to expect? Well, Songkran, as I said to you, is a very important festival. It's the biggest. It's their new year. So what will happen is the side people come up and the people come up and they'll just gently pour a bit of water over your head and they'll just tap you on the face with a little bit of powder. If you believe that, you believe anything. What generally happens is some Thai people will come up and do that nicely to you. But because you're here in the city and because you're surrounded by all the tourists and because they're all having fun and they're drunk and they want to get, you're going to get the big blue super soakers, you're going to get the big buckets. And what will happen is the water 
uh, the big blue bins that we use to put our beers and stuff in in many of the bars. They'll bring them outside and they'll fill them full of water. And along comes a guy and says, hey, guess what? I've got blocks of ice here. Would you like me to put one in there for 20 baht? And they do it. So you're going to get absolutely hammered. They're going to blast you with water. They're going to put all this over you, get all that. And it's going to be freezing cold. And it's the old, oh, God, it's that effect. So you'll be walking around in the sun, nice warm water, warm water suddenly. Oh, and I'll tell you what I've noticed over the last couple of three years. Uh, obviously, during COVID, we didn't do it. But what I mean, last couple of three times I've celebrated is the edge is more towards ice cold water than to normal water, which is really annoying. You know, nobody likes getting freezing cold water thrown over them, well, unless you're weird. Um, you know, and it just takes away the fun aspect because you're giving it, God. So, you know, what should happen is they should pour it over your head, dab you on the side and say, Happy New Year, Saudi boat. But it doesn't happen that way, guys. It doesn't happen that way. And unfortunately, that you know, that's the way it goes. So here's a couple of things for you. I would suggest that if you are someone that's easily triggered, uh, particularly if you've had a beer and you find yourself in a situation where it's going to make you upset or angry, you know, unfortunately, during the, this period in time, um, you know, a lot of uh, people find themselves on the wrong side of the police. They get angry. They start lashing out and, you know, what are you doing? And pushing people and stuff. And it just escalates in there, particularly if there's been alcohol involved. You know, if you're that kind of person, guys, you know, maybe just do yourself a favor and just stay away. You know, or just limit the, the amount that you push it. If you go into the, if you merge yourself into like Beach Road, I mean, Beach Road's Harney, Soy 7, Soy 8, Soy Bacal, LK Metro. Not sure about what's going to happen down here, Soy Chai Poon. I've never done Song Grand up here, so that'll be a new one for me. Uh, we'll celebrate it here in the bus in So if you are someone who wants to come along, uh, we'll have we'll have it out the front on the front deck in the inside won't be any of that but on the outside it will be a, a, an opportunity to celebrate but i don't know what to expect i really don't but my point being is if you're somebody that's that's easily triggered and highly strung and you and you find yourself you know one of these people that is a confrontational person do yourself a favor guys please just just leave it alone for a couple of days you know, for the week just to st you know, stay away from any possible issues that may come your way because they are going to come your way you know i've seen many people over the years you know i said you about experiences you know, I've seen guys that have splashed someone and then they've, they've chased them down the road and splashed them again and got against them and chased them back. And the next thing, these two are having it out with each other. It just ruins the whole situation. And, you know, it's meant to be a fun event. It's meant to be a good, good laugh, a way of, you know, getting rid of all your, your the bad uh, karma and, and looking forward to new, the new year ahead and trying to embrace what's going to come your way. But unfortunately, that kind of stuff, uh, you know, it does get misled. And then, of course, we find there's lots of issues. And, uh, Soy six, yep, soy six. If you want to have an eye an, an eye opening experience uh, during song round, eighteen and nineteen, uh, seventeen as well, but eighteen and nineteen, go down the six, have a wander down there. Uh, it will be mental, mental. As will soy seven, soy eight. Uh, Beach road on eighteen and nineteen will be virtually impassable. Uh, the, all the roads will be shut. There'll be no traffic whatsoever. Uh, they even bring down the fire hydrant. You know, the fire engine, and he blasts you all with this. They have a big... The last year, they had a big rock party down by the Hard Rock Cafe. They had a big band out there uh, doing music. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's going to happen this year. I've not seen any details, but it's a great, great festival. It's a brilliant festival. It's just you've got to embrace what's going to come your way rather than try and push away and say, no, don't do that to me. The amount of people I see, no, 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 and they're like, yeah, all right, I have that. Uh, you know, it's just one of those situations. Regarding your drinks... Uh, you are be well, well advised to take out a plastic cover of some description to put over your bottle or your glass, depending on what you're drinking. If you drink a bottle, you know, people think they're drinking that, put it down, play, drink a bottle, put it down, play. Well, if you're getting splashed with the water, most of the water that you're going to get splashed with predominantly will come from Abachan Lake or Waiai Lake. Uh, they, they take the bowsers up there. They, they take all the water out and then what they do then is they come down and they, they fill all these, uh, these um, bins up, the, the beer bins up with the water. And of course, then you, you suck it out and then you're spraying somewhere with it. Invariably, it is the lake water. So if you are, uh, you know, maybe be very careful with what you're drinking. If you are someone who's got a, a beer, an open top beer or a glass, maybe a vodka and soda, whatever, make sure you cover it over. Because if you don't, the last thing you want to do, and I mean this seriously, the last thing you want to do is be drinking the lake water. And, you know, you might be thinking, well, hang on, if I'm walking around and I get splashed, it will go in my mouth. Like, yeah. It will. Uh, the amount of people after Song Grand that we see walking around the city here with eye infections uh, is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. The next two or three days after Song Grand, the, the chemists, the clinics, the, the hospitals are rammed with people with, with uh, sore eyes and eye infections. It's just the way it is. And unfortunately, you know, that's the way it's always going to be. There's nothing you can do about it because of where the water is sourced from. 
timing. Talk about timing. My face is dinged. That's good timing. I forgot to turn it down. Let me turn it down. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, timings. So, when to expect it. Generally speaking, if you go out in the morning, if you go out in the morning, you'll be okay. Uh, around about 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, now you're into the possible zones. 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, you're into the most likely zones. 5 o'clock onwards, you're into the yes, 100% zone. You're going to have it. Does it stop at night time when the sun comes down? That's a good question. People always ask me, they say, Joe, when does it stop? The reality is, unfortunately, it really depends on where you are and it depends on the people celebrating. I've had it where I've been out of an evening at 7, 8, 9 o'clock at night and getting bad, getting bad. And there's nothing I can do about it. It's just the way it is. What will happen is on the 19th, 18th and 19th, those two days in particular, the party goes on right the way through the night. It is just nonstop because it's the last two days. It's the busiest two days. So again, you know, if you are someone that doesn't want to be getting soaking wet at the night time, I suggest you get yourself some nice food. Uh, you know, on regards to takeaways, getting grab food, deliveries, and all that kind of stuff, just write it off, guys. You're better off to cook at home because remember, these guys are out trying to negotiate around the, city, the streets to get to you. Uh, the food delays will be phenomenal. Uh, it really will be a, 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 a bad situation because the roads are gridlocked. You know, people just swarm all around Second Road. They swarm all around Beach Road. Beach Road, you can't even have any traffic down there. So if you've ordered a food, you, what might be a 20-minute delivery will turn into two hours. So I would suggest you stock up your fridges, stock up your freezer, get yourself all your cooking stuff ready, and then stay at home and cook if that's something that you need to do for the evenings. I've gone through a lot of things there, and, you know, I don't know, I want you, you know, share your experiences, guys. You know, what do you think of Songkran? Do you love it? Do you embrace it? Do you hate it? Do you hide away? What do you do? Because I've got to say, over the last two years, I've become a bit more of a bar humbug, if I'm being honest. And like this year, I really don't want to celebrate it this year. I'm, I'm tired of getting freezing cold water thrown over me. And I'm tired of the, long, the length of time, like seven days, eight days, is just too long for me personally. But what about you? How do you feel, guys? Do you enjoy it? What I would suggest to you, I, I will celebrate it here in the Buzzing Lounge on the 18th and 19th. I will definitely be part of that. The rest of the time, I'll probably hibernate inside the bar and I won't come out. Uh, only because I just don't, I just don't enjoy it. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, it's each their own. But what I would say, guys, is, you know, please take the video on board. Please take in, into uh, need the, uh, the the tips I've given you. Uh, if you want to say Happy New Year to me, it's Saudi be my Saudi be my means Happy New Year. Uh, you're going to hear that all the time. They're going to say that to you a lot. Saudi be my thank you, Saudi be my. So it's a very nice way. So it's their New Year's, their New Year's uh, celebration. It's a meaningful celebration. If you, especially if you go, if you go out to the villages, you'll find it's immensely different. It's immensely different. Uh, Naklua, Naklua don't do a seven days. So if you want a bit of dryness, go up to Naklua. They'll stay away. Jom Tien, Pratanak, uh, it's hit and miss. It's generally less celebrated on the build up to the 18, 19 to what it is here. Um, so you again, you've got a bit more of a safe zone over that side of things. But right here in the city, trust me, guys, you're having it. There's no no ways about it. You're going to have it. All right, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, as always, please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Uh, jump on our Discord channel. It's a great channel. There's, there's nearly 18,000 members on there, over 18,000 members. It's totally free of charge. It's a wealth of information. Now, I will put a Songkran channel up there for you, so if you want to discuss what to expect or any things, any questions you want to ask, have a look on our Discord. It's totally free. There's a link in the description there below, so jump on that one. Uh, if you have uh, been a, a supporting member of the channel, uh, which I'd like to say thank you so much for your support, it allows me to go off and do different videos which you're seeing coming to the channel now. Um, please change your PayPal email. Uh, and change it over to tnister at gmail.com, please. That's the new email that we're using. Uh, if you have changed it over, drop me an email, 247 at gmail.com. Let me know, and then I can do things and give you access to our members-only Discord group as well, which is great fun. Uh, if you haven't uh, had a look, check out our Instagram. Instagram is all about nightlife, parties, girls, etc. So have a look on our channel. Please follow us. If you do go over to Instagram, just click the follow button. It just really helps me. Likewise with TikTok. TikTok's all about daytime. It's about restaurants and uh, beaches and uh, tourist attractions. So, like, so have a look at TikTok. And again, uh, follow us on there. And uh, that's about it today. All right. So thank you very much for watching. I wish you a very happy and a very safe song crown ahead. Good luck. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know where I'm going to hide, but I'm going to find somewhere. And uh, just have a great time. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.